duck, right? Well, sometimes that duck is actually a condo. Um, and we just had this happen yesterday for a, a property that's being purchased in Port St. Lucie. Super nice client that we're working with. And it has the land use code of a um, planned unit development. It, it lists uh, land as part of the um, uh, dwelling that's being purchased. However, the legal description and the initial documents were filed as a condo association. So there was a little bit of confusion. Um, you know, we, we we dug in, we worked directly with the appraiser in this case and the underwriter and confirmed that we can move forward with it as a planned unit development. But this certainly could have gone awry had um, somebody interpreted the land use code or the ownership structure uh, differently. So just know that there are distinct differences that are not always apparent and one more reason why you want a good team surrounding you so that they can help you navigate through these um, these questions and these unforeseen circumstances. So I hear the music sneaking up behind me. We are going to go ahead into this break. As always, you can reach us at 561-291-8569 or visit the website www.mr.mortgage. It's not every day that you need an appraisal, whether it's for a divorce settlement, estate planning, or maybe you're appealing a tax assessment, or you just want to make sure you have adequate coverage in your property insurance. When you need a certified appraisal, turn to my friends at soflappraisal.com. That's soflappraisal.com. Peter and his team have been appraising properties here in South Florida for decades. soflappraisal.com. And tell him you heard this on the Mr. Mortgage Show. Are inflation and everyday expenses eating into your retirement income? Maybe you've considered a reverse mortgage and have unanswered questions, like, Do I still own my property? Can the bank kick me out? What happens when I die? Can I still leave my house to my kids? These are all great questions. Visit www.moreaboutreverse.com to learn more. That's www.moreaboutreverse.com. www.moreaboutreverse.com. Hey, it's Mark Itell here, host of the Mr. Mortgage Show. And you've heard me talk about the valuation tool that we use in our lending practice almost daily. It's not quite an appraisal, but it's way more accurate than one of those online estimates. And we're happy to run one of those reports for you at no charge. Just visit freevaluereport.org. That's freevaluereport.org. Give us a little information about the property and we'll be happy to send you your report. That's freevaluereport.org. Here's another five-star review. We started our loan with a different company. They said we were approved, but at the last minute they told us there was a problem. I still don't know what went wrong, but thankfully our real estate agent told us about Mark. I was pretty stressed, but it's the perfect house so we gave Mark a shot. He got it done. I'm not sure what was different but I don't really care. We even got a better interest rate and with less money out of pocket than the first guy quoted us. It was a great surprise. Yes, I'm happy to recommend Mark and his Mr. Mortgage team. Welcome back to the Mr. Mortgage Show. Call us now, 561-291-8569. All right, all right, all right. So we're back. I'm Mark Itell, host of the Mr. Mortgage Show. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us um, and coming back after that break. But uh, anyway, the uh, Anytime Hotline, 561 561- 291-8569. You heard the announcer. That's the best way to get us. It rings here during the show or pushes to my office during the week. And we'll be happy to answer all your questions or visit the website www.mr.mortgage. That's mr.mortgage. So we're going to keep rolling right ahead with questions. I know some popped in. Uh, let me throw it over to Dom, the producer. Hey, Dom, what do we have question wise? All right. We have Joe from Palm Beach Gardens asking, I've heard you talk about this market and you doubting that it will crash. Where are you seeing pressure in this market? It seems something's got to give. I Hey, Joe, I feel you. I hear you. Um, it's definitely crazy out there. I know um, we even touched on in, in, in this show, we had Juan jump on with us and uh, share some strategies to make offers more acceptable, which I get it. It's crazy. We're doing whatever we can to get, to get it done. And you're right. It, it, it feels nuts. Um, the reality is there's not really any indicators for, for a crash. Um, and you've heard me say it many times before. I think we're, we're going to move into a flat, certainly a more subdued, but at very least or very worse, rather a flat appreciation cycle. So, um, 
I guess to dig into that question and be totally fair and transparent, if I'm seeing one place that there's a lot of pressure on the market, that there's not a lot we can do about it, right? Because the rest is just math. We can figure what the taxes are going to be. We can figure what the mortgage payment is going to be, the interest rates. All of that is math. But we're seeing a lot of pressure on the insurance side of things. So insurance premiums are um, much higher now than they have been any time in the past. And, you know, we're seeing... Uh, insurers pull out of the state because of risk. And there's a lot of reasons why that's happening. And we won't go into them on this show. I've got a guest lined up for the future that um, he, the guy, the guy's a guru in the insurance world and he's a certified instructor on a state level. So he's got a high, high level of understanding and and we're going to dig into insurance, but on the insurance side of things, I do see that pressuring the market. If there's if there's uh, an anchor kind of slowing people down, it's the surprise policy uh, number that they're they're receiving, and it's for a lot of reasons. I mean, we abused insurance in Florida over the recent years. We, we we've all um, we've heard the stories about people you know suing their insurance company or the the the, uh, the roofing contractor for a new roof, and there was legislation entered for all of that. And, you know, I'm, for me, I'm neither here nor there on the topic. I mean, I do think there needs to be something thing done from an insurance standpoint in the state to make it more obtainable and more affordable. But if I have to acknowledge a pressure that I didn't anticipate moving into this market, it's insurance. And, you know, the replacement costs of properties have gone up as the construction costs have gone up and, you know, full replacement cost on a property um, might be 30 or 40 percent higher now than it was as, as recently as two years ago, just because of the demand on materials and labor costs. So there's so many reasons why insurance is um, or we're feeling the squeeze from the insurance companies. So um, I know we could go we could go deep into that for a long time and I don't want to do that. But to answer your question, Joe, if there's one place I'm seeing pressure that might slow the market, it's on the insurance side. Uh, rates are still ridiculously low by historic standards. Money's super affordable. Appreciation looks like it's here. So I don't see pressure from the opportunity standpoint. I don't see pressure from the cost of money standpoint, but I do see a little pressure from the insurance standpoint of things. So all that being said, you know how I feel about real estate. We touched on it in the opening segment. I mean, buying a house starts your path for equity wealth. I think it still makes sense. It certainly makes sense at these interest rate environments. And we are here and happy to answer or any of your questions, any of your concerns. Um, I always talk about the need to have a good team. I brought uh, Juan on to share some of his strategies. I know his team are all rock stars. I welcome the opportunity to get you in touch with somebody that can help on any level, appraisals, insurance, and certainly agents. And I welcome the opportunity for my team to assist you on the mortgage side. So any questions, give us a shout, 561-291-8569. We will get you um, to the person that can help you especially if you're looking for a good agent or a good mortgage broker. Uh, We're here and happy to help. 561-291-8569 is the Anytime Hotline. Or please uh, feel free to visit the website, www.mr.mortgage. That's mr.mortgage, no.com. And yeah, check out the podcast. We're everywhere now. It's it's pretty wild. Even just Google the Mr. Mortgage Show will pop up. We're on a lot of podcast networks. So there's lots of ways to get us when we're not on the air. Thanks. That's a wrap. Join Mark Itell next week for more thrilling, edge-of-your-seat discussions about real estate and mortgages right here on The Mr. Mortgage Show.